What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Gad's Cast. I'm your host, Skulls and Arrow, a.k.a. Marcos, and I'm joined today, again, by Morty, a.k.a. David. Hello. How you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I'm good. How's Monster Hunter 4? Or 5? Hey, you go in there? No, I'm going there. Uh, we'll not talk about that. No, well, tell me. What, what happened? What happened to the, to the system? <laughs> Oh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the usual. <laughs> my 3DS don't work no more, but you know, that's, wait, wait, not, that's wait, another wait, topic. People don't understand, okay? You had the game, you bought the game, right? Yes, yes, I did. Digitally. Uh huh. And then what happened? You want me to tell the story? Yeah, I want to hear the story. So, the day of the Monster Hunter came out, I was going to Disneyland, you know, with family. And I decided, you know, lines take forever, might as well bring it. Like, I'll, I'll just play it in line. Like, like Space Mountain takes about mm, two right. hours. Right, right. Well, we were getting on Splash Mountain. Usually that ride doesn't get too bad, like, it's just... What are you talking about? Splash like, Mountain's pretty bad. Like, water-wise? Like, getting wet? It's not... It's never been terrible as much as it happened that day. Okay. So Anyways, well, we were going down the drop, and water, like, it was it was crazy. The wave was huge. Like, it went over the whole boat. I was soaked. At that moment, I did not think about how my 3DS was doing. I didn't think about it until we sat down. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to play it again. I looked at it. It wouldn't turn on. Wait, so, so you, did you have it, like, fully charged and everything? You knew it was going to yep. be good? It was fully charged. And then you tried to turn it on and it didn't turn on? Nope. Okay. Sadly. Yeah. I well, you tried you try contacting Miyamoto? Yeah, I asked him, and he's like, uh, Mario will take care of it, and then he hangs up. <laughs> he was like, hey, you told him, like, hey, uh, uh, Monster Hunter's not working. You say, how did you get this number? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's a bummer, man. I mean, like, I, I, when I heard that story um, from... Uh, my re from my sources. <laughs> um, from I, Google. From, <laughs> what? Google told you. From Google. I, I googled the uh, Morty, Morty 3DS. Story. <laughs> Morty story. 3DS. Morty story. Um, I found out, yeah, that you had your 3DS had broken. Also, Andrew Ken, the guy that's not allowed in this building, his 3DS. Oh uh, uh, yeah, same his, same thing too. Yeah, it's messed up. I mean, that sucks. I mean, maybe you can call. I I recommend trying to call customer support about transferring your game to another DS. Um, but other than that, I mean, they can't obviously get you another 3DS, but yeah, better luck next time. Maybe next time you'll buy a poncho for your 3DS. I'm buying poncho. No. <laughs> okay. I um, a little <laughs> um, for me, I, I didn't break my 3DS. Get out of here. <laughs> oh my God. That's the end of that story. <laughs> I'm I done. It was not broken. Um, <laughs> but I, I did not buy Monster Hunter. I thought I was going to buy it, but uh, I'm actually interested more in buying another game that's coming out for the 3DS, which I will get to later in this podcast. But until then, since you have not been playing Monster Hunter, I'm sure you've been playing another game. What game, my friend, have you been playing? Starbound. Starbound? Starbound. I've had my share of Starbound. I played a little bit of it. Uh, I, I think I bought it before you did. You did. And you recommended I, it. Yeah, I recommended it to you. And then I stopped playing it, but you were hooked on it, and right now it's still going right i mean it, how long yeah. ago was it that i introduced it to you i think it was like two three years ago i think it was three three, three years, years ago, ago yeah and uh and it was back in the beta days i don't know early access yeah early access stuff and Work. then um there was nothing to do yeah honestly and, and now it's coming around right now now they're finally this friday actually uh. is their final or at least big update from early access to actually consider it a full game oh boy well this friday you mean by tomorrow right or it depends oh, yeah. i guess i guess it depends, depends on when this is uploaded. this is uploaded yeah um so what's gonna be included in this uh this story mode why why should i play the game again because they're adding a story mode like you said on accident <laughs> like you weren't supposed to know that i just said the update anyways oh, they're yeah. adding a story mode finally and I believe, like, uh, they're adding an outpost, which is pretty much where you're getting all these missions from, mm -hmm. like, other per people, like, side missions. So they're gonna have, like, NPCs in there? Didn't yeah. they have NPCs before? They did, but they were very, like, rarely found. Okay. This one, you're actually gonna find them. You're finally gonna be able to hire crewmates. Oh, I think you were telling me about the penguins, right? Yeah, you can hire penguins to work with you. Like, how many? 
Uh, not sure, but I, I found out that you actually have to kill the leader in order to hire <laughs> Naturally, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> Become the alpha. Uh, but, uh, I mean, that's that's really cool. I mean, it, I've actually been interested because you've been telling me that there's like a multiplayer in it as well. Yes, and they I, actually fixed it instead of having to do your little IP servers and stuff like that. Uh -huh. like so, oh, so it kind of functioned like the old Minecraft would do, like the yeah. old Minecraft days when you try to like have to use a third-party software to get your yeah. uh, multiplayer running. Exactly. Okay. Now all you got to do is just invite your friends to join. Okay. Well, what Steve if you don't have friends? Will they provide the friends? Uh, yeah. You can talk to yourself, your friend. Me, no, myself, no, no. and I. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna call a cust uh, Steam customer support, see if they can give me some I'm friends. I'm gonna call Gabe some... Newell. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, give me, send me some Gabe Newells. <laughs> twins. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, what, what like, are you? Are they adding new races? Are they adding like new no, materials or weapons? I'm sure new weapons, right? Like a, a ton whole... of new weapons. Yeah. They're adding. They're finally adding staffs. Yeah. Like little magic stuff. It was funny the the other day when you first brought this up. I actually came home um, because I had gone to see you, and I came home and I booted it up and I started playing. And an hour had passed. I was like, no, 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 no. Like it's not gonna hook me again. Not like it did before. <laughs> like I'm like I'm not gonna play this. I had things to do at the time. So I, I didn't play it, but I mean, if I get the chance to actually play online with you, do a story mode, I don't know, a story mode single player? Uh, no, that's actually multiplayer. Oh, okay, so to do a story mode with you, I think it'd be pretty awesome. Yes, it would be awesome. Okay, okay, a I mean good, like... A well, good let's play, I might uh, say. Oh, a good let's play! Uh, welcome to another Game Gods Let's Play! I'm your host, Skeleton Hero! I'm so, I don't know why I did that. I got into let's play mode! I'm like, let's make it you. He was already getting into it. I know, but we don't have any games in front of us. Okay, well that's cool, man. I mean, for me, I'm not playing anything new. I'm playing Street Fighter. Um, I... Why you laugh? Uh, no, you want to just keep no, going? Why'd you laugh? Because the game. Uh, no, just keep going. It's it's good. It's a good game. Okay, I like the game, uh, but it's funny because uh, I get real salty. Oh yeah, you do. I get I get really. It's one like I, I'm, I got. I thought he was gonna hurt me. I'm not, <laughs> I thought he was gonna hurt me. I was, me. I was calling <laughs> child services, child, child protection services. Help me. Uh, but but it's funny because like there's no game Hadouken. <laughs> He's doing the Hadoukens. <laughs> no, but uh, it's funny because like I play I played a lot of games in my days. I play a lot of games. Um, but this Street Fighter is one of the few games that actually gets me salty like really bad. Like I'll be yelling at the screen. I'll I'll be tapping my buttons as fast as I could because like I'm re I'm really angry. And I feel like sometimes it just has to do with the fact that, like, either I'm just not good at the game, or maybe I'm just, like, I've got, you know, I've got a long way to go, kid. <laughs> oh, man. No, you, I've seen you get mad before, like, you know, editing stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that problem. But, man, Street Fighter. And technical, those, okay, those are technical difficulties that you're talking about when I get mad. Um, but, well, yeah. Like, you would think you would get mad at Smash Brothers. You don't but get, I don't. I don't get mad at Smash Brothers. Like, you get annoyed, but you don't... You don't slam the button <laughs> after you lose. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I'm just starting it. <laughs> no, you're gonna get far doing that. Yeah, I'm not. And I'm like, it's funny because like the way the Street Fighter functions, it's that like they give you points for winning, but then they take away points for losing. And granted, like that's probably the the system in any fighting game, a multiplayer game out there. Um, I think I believe. Right now, Overwatch is functioning the same way. I don't know. I don't play a lot of ranked on, on that game. Um, but uh, in this game, you feel like you climb this mountain and then you start losing and you just slide down. And and it's and you feel like after, you know, three, four hours of playing through and you're still in the same spot, if not less, like you're a lower rank than you were before. You're like, man, like, what am I doing with my life? Why, why do I why do I hate myself? And then I just like start hitting my head with the, the, uh, the fight stick and... But uh, that being said, I mean, I watched Evo. Evo was pretty awesome. Like, it ended with my, um, um, I, the final round was with uh, Infiltration, I believe, and one other person that I don't remember. Um, but they were using, uh, the, the person that was uh, Infiltration was playing against was using Mika, which is the character I use, which I'm often, like, faced with, like, oh, it's low-tier character, it's a low-tier character. But, like, I mean, he made it to finals, right? I mean, something, he's got to do something, right? I mean, he granted, he's, he's just a good... He didn't win, he didn't but win. I mean, he was close. He's closer than anybody else has, you know, or was this this, uh, this Evo. But I mean, like, yeah, I, I, I'm still playing Street Fighter, like, as much as I can, hoping that I'll get better. Um, obviously, the rule of thumb when it comes to video games, if it's not fun, why are you playing it? And sometimes it's not fun for me, but I keep playing it. And, <laughs> you know, uh, like, it reminds me of Hard and Slash. 
you don't like the game, but well, somehow you, you, you got something come against Hard Slash. You keep bringing it up. You know, Hard Slash <laughs> is a thing of yesterday. We don't talk about that anymore. You know, people, 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 people like that game. People like it, really. Hey, if you go to the Steam reviews of that game, it actually has a very positive like review, like audience review kind of thing. What was it like two people that reviewed it? No, there's a lot of people, all right. But it's, <laughs> uh, but uh, people like the game. People do like the game. Uh, I just happen to be one of those that liked it, but had a lot of beef with it. I did like it, but it was just, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. So those are the games we're playing. Um, nowadays, nowadays, let's get to the news. There's nothing, nothing to talk about. There's no news out there. Um, I don't know if you guys want to hear about Pokemon Go. Uh, Pokemon Go. I'm pretty sure you guys never heard of it. I game. mean, Evolve just announced like another version of Griffin. I don't know if you guys want to hear about that. I really don't want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> there's a... Uh, New jury for Street Fighter? I, I don't want to talk about that. Man, I did not expect her to get <laughs> in there. It's not like she was in the story mode. I thought she was just a side character, you know? Just part, just in there for the story. In other words, there's not a lot of big news. Um, this, the video game industry has been rather quiet. I mean, in a couple weeks, we're going to get uh, No Man's Sky. But uh, speaking of No Man's Sky, you know what? Since there isn't news, I thought we'd take this new segment part and just talk about the games we're kind of excited about that are going to come out later this year. And uh, I got two games. You, of course, Morty, if you did your homework, you got two games. Homework? <laughs> what was the homework? My dog, I didn't study! <laughs> my dog ate it! <laughs> my, dog, my dog ate my homework! Uh, but, uh, but anyways, yeah, so we, I, I thought we'd talk about uh, games we're excited for. And I think generally uh, these games we're both kind of excited for. And, of course, the one that I just finished mentioning was No Man's Sky. You know what? Honestly... I feel like people are overhyping it, and then people are just gonna be super disappointed. You think so? I, I, I actually, I legitimately think it's gonna be a good game. Like, like I, I, I remember talking to. Uh, like, don't, don't get it, don't get me wrong. I got I you wrong. Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> I love how the game looks. It yeah. looks so cool. That, that I'm expecting people to just get mad because it's just like it looks like it's just focus and exploration. I see they released a trailer on fighting. But it doesn't look like it's a huge emphasis on it. Yeah, I mean, I there's other things like if you've seen like they, they haven't they don't show huge emphasis, but there are like NPCs you find. So I can only imagine that there will be Missions. evil M NPCs. Like there might be, I, I this is just I'm just throwing this out. There may be space pirates or something like that that you do fight. Cause yeah, you're right. They just released a trailer called Fight, and obviously he's fighting someone. And it's funny because like if you look at the other gameplay stuff, like you'll see that if you attack wildlife. There's these sentient robots that come out and start hitting you, so it's like okay, it kind of it kind of discourages from attacking anything. from attacking anything. Yeah, you don't want to use your gun even though you, they give you the gun, but you know what? Better to bring a gun and not use it than to never need a bring, gun. Never bring a knife to a gun. No, see, you, you know just you just ruin you ruin <laughs> my man. No, is it? You don't bring a gun. No, it, you know what? Forget it. I'm not even gonna say it anymore. I'm not gonna say it. It's um, because mine was better. Yeah. Um, but the game, the game looks good to me. I, I was talking to a friend um, recently, and he said that he was excited for the game, but then he found out it's procedurally generated. And I was like, What does that have to do with anything? Though? Why does that take away cause, from cause, the experience? Because then it's like it's not it's random. There's no like soul. Like it's like in the in the planets. But you know, it's funny that uh, that I I find that you know going to these planets that nobody's visited even though it's like it's procedurally generated there's something about the math in itself that is that is organic that it's like you've unexplored and it's foreign to you e even like the equation itself that caused these planets to come up like nobody will have been to this planet or this you know the math that caused this planet to exist that's the same one as someone else did yeah exactly and and granted we won't know exactly if like People are gonna encounter the same planets, but the animals are gonna have different colored eyes. Like, uh, <laughs> like nobody, nobody knows that that's what it really means. I mean, I, I guarantee you, everybody's gonna encounter sandworms. Everybody's gonna encounter, I don't know, space flights, like uh, fights, I should say. But like space, space flight. flight, yeah. Well, everybody, how else you gonna get off the planet? But I mean, like, it's it's. There are there are precautions to take. They haven't shown a lot about it, yeah, and they, it's out they, in just a couple weeks. They've kept really quiet on this game. Yeah, I, I mean, Sean Murray, the, the the creator or director, or I want to say creator, but Sean Murray has talked about uh, the fact that 
he wants it to be core like Minecraft as far as like exploration. You talk about you talk about it within a community of of No Man's Sky players. You, it's not a wiki game. It's not a game you go for a guide. It's a game that you explore and you and you see what's out there. I do see that people are scared of it because people don't like games with no purpose or you know and yeah. they, they give you a very vague purpose which is come go to the center of the universe. Um, which I've heard, I've heard rumors that people are saying that like, oh, you know how they say like, it's possible for you to encounter a, uh, a player, but then people have said like, oh, you know, there's only a 1.1 or 0.000001% chance of you actually finding somebody out there. But like the closer you get to the universe, like, it, does that increase and in, you get your chance to actually see somebody like, I, I, yeah, like, like it, an NPC or someone else playing the game, like somebody else actually playing the game, which would be pretty awesome. But again, uh, I didn't, I didn't come up with this. Somebody else did. But, um, I mean, other than that, I, I like the thought of it just being a very explorative game. I love games like that. I know you do too. That's why you play Starbound. Yeah. Starbound's basically like the 2D version of No Man's Sky. Um, it, Actually, it basically is, huh? They got a bunch of planets. Explore. Yeah, but you can't like drive ships or anything, which yeah. is like my one of my biggest things that like, I can't wait for with No Man's Sky is the whole like ship with, building, like, like having your own. I want to upgrade the ship to be able to take out the giant ones on its own. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Honestly. I would love, I would love to create a ship. I wanted to create a ship that destroys the planets. <laughs> <laughs> the man, Death that'd, Star. That'd be impressive, man. <laughs> that would she, you know what? Forget exploration. Just destroy all the planets. <laughs> I don't even visit a single planet. I just destroy them. <laughs> and I mess up Sean Murray's equation. <laughs> uh, but uh, I mean, I can't. I can't wait to jump in and and really like mess up the planets and come up with like really cool stuff. That, like I don't know that 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 fuel the exploration in me. The, the explore ex, explorer. There you go. I was looking for that word. That fuels the explorer in me to go and, and research stuff. I mean, somebody said you can, all you can do is just go and document like different kinds of species life, right? in life. Yeah. That to me sounds like a jolly good time. Like I just, I can't wait for that kind of game. I know. I can't, I can't wait to be a zoologist. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> like, wait, that's cute, man. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the fear of this game not being that great from other people is legitimate like i i think it there's grounds to it like it makes sense people for people to be wary about the game like oh they haven't like, talked I, a lot about i just feel like people are just gonna be like oh it's just another minecraft i i don't know i i don't i don't really feel that i just feel that like people are just gonna be like well there's nothing to do here because that that there's kind no of objective people want like an objective to something to go for like to end the game i don't think people are well to like i just mentioned that like the that. objective is get to the center of the universe just like journey is to get to the mountain kind of thing yeah but, um, like, but yeah like oh defeat this guy get this you know get this pre treasure you know yeah, it's like get not, this it, it, and stuff like yeah, that yeah yeah basically like we all thought that like destiny was gonna be like no man's sky you know <laughs> that would which would have <laughs> been a perfect game but uh they did oh man the disappointment all that yeah yeah but i mean yeah, a lot of people aren't disappointed. People like that. I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. Okay, well, you I can't did, like you can go play your own Destiny game. Okay. I mean, if it's my destiny to go play something oh. else. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know. You're anyways, right, uh, <laughs> you're right. you okay, buddy. Um, anyways, um, um, so uh, what's the game that you wanted to talk about? Final Fantasy 15. Right? It's 15. Yeah, it's 15. All right. Okay, so what, what what has you excited about Final Fantasy? Uh, much more than Norm, uh, No Man's Skies, honestly. Honestly, I love this. This game looks so fun. Just like what, like watching how beautiful the game looks. Yeah. It looks really good, and just the boss fights look awesome. I'll I'll give it to you that the game looks really good, but I mean, performance-wise, like I have not been too impressed with it because like there's been like screen stuttering, screen tearing, and, and granted, I, like I haven't. I thought that was just like I saw a lot of that in the first demo they ever showed. But yeah. I feel like that's all like gone away, and I mean that's not that's kind of on like there's the game is so big. Yeah. It's kind of hard to prevent all of that. Yeah, that is it's, true. I, I do give them that. I mean, if if in the end like the game still like functions really well as far as like game mechanics and it's fun to play, which a lot of people don't like the uh, combat, but I personally found it to be really. Uh, it reminded me of of. Uh, 
Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Um, actually, a more like I would even describe it as a more mature Kingdom Hearts. Like you're not just button mashing because you, your character still kind of waits when you do attacks and stuff like that. Yeah. But there are moments where you've got to like react on time. Did you ever play the uh, what was it? The, the demo. The, not the demo. Just gay. The uh, the sky or whatever. Um, the the one after it. The one they announced at uh, the the Final Fantasy uh, event where they released the uh, release date. Where they announced the release date. I forgot what it was called. Um, is it where you started off as a little kid? Yeah, the little kid one. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I, in that demo, you actually were able to use the whole system of like, you know, uh, using, having different weapons, using magic and all that. You probably could do that in Disque, but Disque or whatever. I, I don't know. Disque. Disque, right? I don't know. It's, it's a word they created. It, it, it means uh, four little buddies. <laughs> four, <laughs> four little buddies. Uh, but but the combat in it, I felt, yeah, it was like a mature Kingdom Hearts where like you still required timing, but also like tactical like Dungeons yeah, like tactical like attacks and and switching between weapons. And from what we've seen like trailers from E3 and gameplay demos, like it only gets better. You know, it, it, the weapons you unlock, the magic spells. The summons. summons. I'm yeah. excited for that the yeah. most. Yeah, and and I mean we've seen like what two or three of them. I, I've, been, I remember two. I don't know. It's Leviathan, Titan, and Brahmu. I believe we've seen. There uh, might be Titan. more, no, but I don't think I've seen Titan actually. Titan's the giant. The giant. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have seen him because okay. he was in the demo. Yeah. And you said, My hey, man. he looks cool. I'm sorry. I wanna be. Gosh. I wanna. I wanna be a fly in his toenail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, wow, <laughs> that's a little extreme. But uh, yeah, I mean the the yeah the summons look amazing. Um, did you play the the one with the he's a little boy? Yeah, did you, watch? you did play it. Yeah, I did. Play. Where'd you play it? When, when I was here with you. You don't remember that? Uh, was it good? <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I mean like I gotta say I'm I'm afraid of one thing. The voice acting. No, oh, there's nothing. That nothing, and the characters themselves. Nothing can save that voice acting. Um, I am afraid of the characters. I, I I'm biased. Like, I don't like anime. I don't like Final Fantasy of previous realms. Like I've I've played Final Fantasy 13. I played Final Fantasy Online. I played Final Fantasy 10. And like I just did not like the voice acting in any one of those. I it's very anime to me. And I'm not like maybe saying anime might sound a little ignorant. Like I don't understand that that realm of like of that kind of voice acting or that kind of acting in general, but I just don't like it. It does not vibe well with me. Um, the cool thing is is that you know the movie that they're doing. I hear that it's yeah. doing well in Japan. Like people are liking it. But again, that That's just Japan. might be. But that yeah, that it's just might be the culture here. there. And once I watch it, I'll be like, what is this? Like I don't know. Like, you, do you feel about the same way? Like, uh, yes, honestly. Like I'm like just hearing them talk is. Just sometimes really annoying and i'm like i have beef with just like little things like when the way some guy stands with his sword like over his shoulder i'm just like like, like every why does one gotta look so cool while he's in a battle yeah like you gotta be focused in it you can't be like <laughs> i got like say a little catchphrase every time you kill someone <laughs> i showed him hey i man. guess that was his final <laughs> his final fight yeah uh, what but Final, <laughs> Fan Final uh, Fantasy Final Fantasy Fight. Ah, uh, no, that one doesn't work. No, no, that, that, that one's pretty. Get medieval. out of here, dude. Get, oh. out, get there's the door. Get out of here. Um, <laughs> uh, the the yeah, that's my thing too. I I was watching them like play it, and I, I saw them fighting, and it's funny that you'd see them do their special move, and then they look cool. Like that. That's there's no other way to say it. Like I don't understand the whole putting your hands behind your head kind of thing, or you you know what? Well, I mean. I mean, that's a normal thing when you're tired. <laughs> do yeah? I don't do that. Do you do that? No, like, that's actually a thing. Like, when you gotta, you do this whenever you're, after you, like, run, it, supposedly it helps. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, but they're not tired in this. They just do that as they're cool. Yeah, 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 you're they're right. Cool. They're, they're, like, they're like, laid back. I yeah, think that's what it is. That's like, look, it is. look how laid back I am. Believe Are, it. Aren't I cool? Let's go hunt a, 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 a black mage. <laughs> That's what they're called, though. That was not. That was not racist. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> I'd be a black major. <laughs> I'd be a black major. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. That's um, a different subject. Change the subject. Change the subject. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to, uh, do you want to talk about any? Do you want to add anything else to that Final Fantasy 15? <laughs> no, we could go on. Okay, my next game. Which we will, we'll, 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 we'll get a lot of hate. We'll get some slack for from it. The four people that watch. It. Yeah, from from the five. Oh, five. Oh. Uh, but that's uh, Metroid Prime Federation Force. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. It, like the first time they showed it, people were mad. But I thought it looks like a fun. Like it looked like Monster Hunter. It's like because it's a four player multiplayer. But like the first person, like you're going after. You're a bounty hunter with a but with like blasters. Blaster, my my uh, my laser blasters. Like people complain that it's not another Metroid game, and yeah, it isn't. It's not another Metroid game, but just th- give the game a chance. Play the game. No, you know what, dude? I think it's a fad. Like everybody, like it, it's just you know how memes catch on online. I really think it's a fad. Oh, it's Metroid Prime Federation Force. Go dislike. It's funny. You know, like oh, it's funny. I'm gonna go dislike it and yeah. say. Put a comment on there. Well, where it's actually, like, I read a comment recently what? that said, I came here to just dislike the game. Other people uh, support this game, though, so we could get an actual Metroid Prime game. I like, was like, really? Yeah, Come I mean, on. I know my biggest beef when it was announced was that, like, the hatred about it, like, the dislikes, the petition to get it down. And you, it, you know how I feel about petitions if you watch my, <laughs> you know, my talking skulls. Oh, um, I sell out more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like... Honestly, you don't need to write a petition if you want, if you don't want a game. Just don't, don't buy it. it. Exactly, yeah. don't, don't buy it. Save your money. Nintendo will be like, why can't I afford this Coca Cola? Oh, it's because little Jimmy didn't buy Federation Force, you know? <laughs> and it's like, it, it's it's so just don't buy the game and and let us enjoy it if it's good, you know? And I that I know it's gonna be like a subpar game. You can just tell by the way it plays. Yeah. Um, I it doesn't. It's obviously not Metro Prime. It'll function like Metro Prime. Um, and if you've got friends that you do play Monster Hunter, like you said, Monster Hunter, it's going to be fun to play Metro Prime Federation Force because it's a game. It, there's no game it like it really on the 3DS. Fun. Yeah, it does. It does look fun. Like, who um, doesn't want to go bounty hunting with your friends? But like, the thing is, like, I have seen, like, what looks boring sometimes where it's just, like, bam, bam, like, just shooting and then walking yeah. around. Like, you know, the, every well, it's game. Like, it's like Destiny. <laughs> In that sort of sense. Front like Destiny pack again. Sorry. I hate the game. But, <laughs> <laughs> but like, the... Just a group of, like, in Destiny, it's a group of three. All you do is go to the end, fight a, like fight multiple bad guys, and then fight a boss, and yeah. you get your loot. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what Federation Force is trying to be. Too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I do believe that, too. And, uh, and like, contradicting myself, I, I'm going to have fun with Federation Force, <laughs> but not Destiny. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, just to add to what we're saying, I, I think Federation looks like it's going to be enjoyable. Um, granted, I, I don't think it's going to be out of the park like something, but that, those guys that are making the game earn some form of trust from us. Like, they've made good games before. And so, like... They're, they were the ones that made Donkey Kong Country Returns, right? I don't think it's Returns. I think it's Tropical Freeze. Well, it, honestly, it doesn't really matter because that game was hard. I played it. I play. I don't own the game, but I played it. Uh-huh. And oh my god, that game gets hard. Well, basically, um, it it and it's fun too. They they know how to make fun games. Yeah. So I'm I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Show me that this game is good. And if it is good, then you guys can shove it in people's faces because people are just you know the the rule of thumb is you ask people what they want, they want more of the same, and that's why people are mad about Metroid Prime. Granted, it's if, yeah, it's just different. People are afraid. Of it being different, people want more of the same. Why there's so many Call of Duties, and why did they sell? Because people like the same stuff, and you know what? Ooh, ooh, ooh. challenging the, com- the Call of Duty community. Hey man, huh? you want to play Call of Duty? So like, <laughs> 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 all right. So that's enough of Federation Force. Uh, you wanted to talk about one last game. Here's a War Four. Okay, so you have the floor on this one, just because I mean I've played Gears of War one, two, and three. Um. I played a lot of two. You didn't even finish three. I didn't finish three, but I do like the, the franchise. I do, I do like the franchise. I played a lot of two, like a lot of it. I played horde mode, like religiously. I played through the, <laughs> I played the uh, the campaign multiple times with co-op. I loved it. Number three, it was just, it was bad timing as far as like when I was in college and all that. Like I just didn't have a way to play it. But I like Gears of War, but I have not kept up with this newest one. One because it doesn't look good to me. Um, as far as like 
No, you know what? Explain. Why doesn't it look graphical, good? Graphical-wise, it doesn't look good to me. It feels like the same oh, thing. Oh, you're one of those people, huh? <laughs> you but, don't like games because of its gra- Why are you excited for Federation Force, then? The graphics are amazing. The, 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 like, I, I was just watching it with you, um, the, the thing they just released recently, yeah, which is the, the gameplay, which I think is the same thing we saw at E3. And there's so... It, it doesn't... It doesn't immediately, like, jump out at me. I do like that the story is... Like, the campaign takes place in one night, I believe. I is do like... Yeah, I think it's just one night, yeah. I do like that uh, Marcus Phoenix is back. I mean, it was kind of funny because they were like, eh, hey, he's not going to be in it. And then, lo and behold, like... They hey, showed him at E3. Yeah, he's like, oh, just kidding. Like, psych! <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm still alive. <laughs> and so, like, there are things about it that I like, but I'm afraid that it's going to fall into the Fallout 4 hole that my... You know, when I played Fallout 4 was just that... It's just more Fallout. There's nothing. There's new, new, fresh ideas. I, I mean, and and like Fallout 4 to me, like there's nothing wrong with it being more, but we just we want some fresh stuff in there, some new stuff, and that, the things that they added, it just wasn't enough to status you know to what? quench that thirst of Fallout. And I feel I, like Gears of War will be the same way. You're making me think twice now, <laughs> honestly, because every gate, like three, like you said, was the same as was pretty much the same as two. Nothing really. Yeah, you know what you're right. Away, yeah, you're you're right. I kept honestly. I have really like. I enjoy the game. Mm-hmm. I I played. I actually. I don't know about one, but I know I played two and three a ton. Yeah. Like two was because it was before three was out, so I played that a lot. Once three came yeah, out. That's good, dude. Like that you played two before three. That's before it came out. Oh, you're making fun of me. <laughs> no, you're, you're going, keep going. Keep going. I don't know if I want to anymore. Making fun of me. All right, that's the Anyways. end of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> But those games were like awesome just because of how, like, I just love the game. And I can't, I'm excited for four. But now that you're talking about how, how much it's the same and nothing has changed, it's making me think twice. Like, that's true. I'm not going to experience any, anything more except for that little tornado they keep showing every time. Oh, I can't wait to run into that tornado. And with the crazy debris. Yeah, it, it's just, I, I, I'm sure there's going to be fresh stuff in there. We just haven't seen much. When is it scheduled to come out? I'm not even sure about yeah, that. Yeah, but um, whenever it's scheduled to come out, I mean, we're, granted, we're going to see more as time goes on, but as far as I'm concerned right now, it's more the same. I do not own an Xbox One, and I still, this game is still, it's not one of the reasons that I want to. Um, uh, on, it's supposed to come out October 11th. So this year. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I, I don't know. Like, I still, I'm I'm, as, I'm skeptical. I, w- I want to see more. I want to see more Gears of War before I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't wait for that game. I don't own an Xbox One, but not the, not because I don't, you know, I, I just don't want to own one. I, I don't have a reason. The, the, right now, the only reason I want to own an Xbox One is simply because of Cupheads. But even that, it's not enough for me to go and uh, go out and buy one. I don't know. That game looks fun. It looks like it would be long, too. Honestly. Are you talking about Cupheads or Gears of War? Cupheads. Oh, we're not talking about Cupheads. We're talking about Gears of War. No, but I'm saying it might be worth buying it. Yeah, yeah. Xbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 it probably well, is. Actually, but, it's coming out for PC, too. Well, I was going to say, all their games are coming out for PC and Xbox One, so I don't need to buy no uh, no Cupheads if I, on Xbox One if I can just buy it on PC. That's true. That is true. But I don't think Gears is coming out for PC. I mean, it might. Um, it's always been Xbox exclusive. Now. Yeah, but if it doesn't, I mean, that isn't the reason I would go out and buy an Xbox. Anything else you want to add on the uh, Gears of War? No, I'm good. Now you make me sad. It's like, now I don't want the game anymore. You convinced me that the game sucks! <laughs> okay, well, that's uh, that's you know, that's a wrap on the things we want to talk about. Um, we have a couple questions here from the audience. Uh, Ooh, uh, <laughs> we got one good question. Yeah, we got um, uh, we have a question from Mr. Uh, Mr. Andrewkin, and it says, "How do you do the Hadouken with uh, Ryu?" <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll answer this one. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew Ken, this is how you do the Hadouken. What you do is you uh, you you start the game. Uh, you put you put Street Fighter Five in there. You just turn on your controller. You let the game load, and once it loads, you turn it off and you go outside. Okay, that's how you do the Hadouken. All right. I don't want to see you play no Street Fighter. You can't beat me. Andrew Ken. It's funny. Andrew Ken. His his mains are always in all his games. His mains are always uh, the main characters. The main characters. Except Smash Brothers, but then he still does play a, a main character, like he plays Star Fox, or he plays Little Mac. Well, I guess all those characters are main characters, huh? Except <laughs> the villains. <laughs> but I mean, like when it comes to like, well, I'm saying like Mortal Kombat, he plays 
Um, what's his name? What's his face? Um, karate guy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know Honestly, I haven't actually played that game in a while. No, but he plays the main character there. Street Fighter, he also plays Ryu Ken. Um, Chun -Li. Chun -Li. Chun -Li. Does he play Chun-Li? Yeah, he yeah. does. Or it's like I play like more obscure characters because that's just what oh. I like to do. He, Andrew played cool. And, of that? Andrew played Guilty Gear. He played Bad Guy. Oh, he's a bad guy. Well, his last name's Bad Guy. I don't know what his first name is. Um, so he always chooses main characters. I choose obscure characters. You choose like whatever characters. And like I'm the greatest at fighting games now. Oh, like yeah. a uh, samurai fight. To oh, it. samurai! This is, samurai, samurai Showdown. That's yeah, a good game go. until you started playing it. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> um, okay, uh, just to let everybody know um, if you guys have listened this far. If you want to, uh, if you want to uh, throw us a question, feel free to put it in the comment section below. We read all the comments because there's only two, so like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't get that many. And if you leave a question on there, um, we'd be happy to answer it. Uh, I believe we have one more question. No, too, uh, we have we have two more questions, but I also wanted to oh, address. Okay. Um, we're all out of applications. Um, if you didn't apply. Or if you're it's waiting, too yeah, it's too late. Just have a seat right next to that weird kid by the dumpster, and you'll be okay. Um, so uh, we got all those Harvard students waiting too, right? Yeah, all the Harvard students. Okay, so I got another one um, by Fabulous Unicorn. It says, "If I join Game God, will I be able to find a girlfriend?" Uh, you know what? There's some things that a, uh, that that Game Gods can't fix. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've been getting a lot of women asking me out. <laughs> I got like five messages yesterday. Want to go out with me? And I responded, no. I don't have time. I got to do <laughs> I, some let's plays and some reviews. I got to focus on Game Guys. <laughs> okay. It's got to be me. It's got to be Game Guys. And there's no space for you. <laughs> so no, the answer is no. Well, actually, no, the answer is yes. yes but is. you're not allowed in Game Gods yet. Since you're not hired yet, uh, you won't get any. In fact, I have your application right here. And uh, you know what? Oh. I have your application. Oh. oh get it out of oh. you. Trash. There goes my notes. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Boom, get. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I have one last question. It's by the Gobster. Um, username Gobster. It says, I'm so alone. I'm standing outside. Can you open the door? Wait. Let me. Uh. Um, how do, how do we Hold on, give me, give me a second, give me a second. Hello? Ah! Alright, um, that's enough for the questions. Uh, obviously, we don't have very good questions. Andrew, I got a question. Andrew, can you keep asking the same one? We've got a hundred <laughs> questions from you. How do you do Hadouken? How do you do Soryuken? You know what? Just look up the manual, man! I got a question for you. This is my question. Yeah, okay, go ahead. When are you gonna quit? I can't quit. I need you to quit <laughs> so I can be CEO. <laughs> CEO. Making the big bucks. Oh, man. All right. Well, do your little outro now. What's the outro? I don't know. How'd you end it last time? Okay, guys. Well, that wraps it up for the uh, this podcast. Thank you again, Mr. Morty. No problem. And, uh, you know, for any of the Let's Plays, previews, or reviews, keep it here on Game Gods. Also, I, I still promise you that uh, that Fury review, it's still work in the works. Yeah. Uh, it's all it's all written. I just need to edit it. I just, you know me. I'm, I'm so I'm so swarmed with just work. With just work. I beat the game for you, man. No, you wish you did. You know, <laughs> you were looking at you were like, oh my god, I can't do it. <laughs> that was intimidating. Yeah.